Normally on my channel, adventure and exploration are always on the horizon, but today our journey takes a turn for the unexpected. My name is Josie and alongside my partner Michael, we've been living the dream, exploring the beauty of Southeast Asia for the past 13 months. But as all travelers know, sometimes life has other plans. We received a call that has forced us to put our travels on hold and return home to Australia. Join us on this emotional journey as we share with you the reason behind our sudden return and the impact it has had on us. So that's why we're coming home. Family and health always come first, and we invite you to experience this chapter of our travels with us. Let's go home. Thank you. Hey. Yeah, thank you. Okay, so we are running a little bit late right now. Uh, we are on gate 26 or something, which is all the way down the end. So we're trying to get there, and we're bored about now. So <laughs> let's see if we can get to our gate. As soon as we can stop and talk, we'll fill you in. There's actually a really serious reason why we're heading home and we haven't clickbaited you this is not clickbait we have a six or eight hour layover in Kuala Lumpur we're gonna head there now and then we'll explain what's sort of happening and what's going on I know you oh thank you you what I know you you know me oh hi <laughs> We have about two, two and a half hours until we get to Kuala Lumpur and honestly like it all happened so fast. It feels weird. It feels really weird right now. Take it for granted. I felt I was You took this wounded heart of mine, put it back together. All right, so we've just made it here to Malaysia. It was a pretty good flight actually. So we're just gonna go. We have what, seven hours until we check in or something. Yep. So we have a long lay over here. First, we have to go through customs, get our bag, and then we have to go catch a bus or something to train. the train to the other airport. We're in a separate airport to where we're gonna be flying out from. So now we have to go from this airport to the other airport and that's where we're gonna be flying out. But we don't fly out until about 11 p.m. tonight. So <sighs> let's go get our bags and continue on to the other airport <laughs> and then we'll let you know. One of the longest custom lines I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> lucky we have a long layover. I reckon we'll be lucky if it takes less than an hour to get through this. Oh. We'll be lucky. All right, so we have our baggage. We have, I guess, all of our possessions. We have to catch the KLA IA Express from here to KLA 2, which is the second airport. So, let's go find this train. Okay, Lordy, for it. Yep. Oh, do we have ringgit? We have, we have ringgit. See ya. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> two? Okay, two, okay, okay, go. Oh. This, oh. How long till the next okay, one? Okay, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay. Thank you. So since we're in Malaysia, one thing I really want while we're here is roti chanai. If you know me, you know I love my roti chanai. I did a whole video about it when I was here in Malaysia. I'm going to leave it on the screen for you right now. But I need some roti chanai, or at least some kaya toast. Let's have a look. It's been a long day. I need some food, and then we'll catch up. Can I get uh, two roti chanai? Roti chanai only morning breakfast. No, it's my favorite. Morning coming. Okay. Okay, tomorrow morning coming with me. I'm, I'm not here tomorrow morning. <laughs> Tell you what, it has been a little while since we have been in Malaysia. Look at this big, what's this, like pint almost of Milo. And if you know me, you know I love my ice and Milo around here. Let's have my first one in Malaysia for a, quite a long time. Oh, I love Milo. Yes, Roti Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, it's not the best roti chanai that I've had, and it's also not the best like kaya bread 
that I've had either. But we tried everywhere else and everywhere is closed. Roti Chana is kind of only for breakfast in Malaysia. All right, so we've gone through our second checked luggage, baggage, everything like that. This video is a little bit all over the place, but to be honest with you, so, so are our we. Life right now. Our life's a bit <laughs> so all over are the place. we. So if you've noticed the last I don't know, a little while or definitely if you're members of my channel where you get my weekly updates, you've noticed that we've kind of said things along the lines of like we have something personal going on and, and I've kind of not said anything because it's not 100% my place to say but we're here to explain to you what's going on. First of all, we're coming back. <laughs> I just want to tell everyone. You, you guys on the on as viewers will not see as much of an impact in how long we're going home for as we're actually going home because in the YouTube world, you're normally ahead a couple of weeks. You, you'll probably only get three or four videos from Australia if that. And then we'll be back out traveling and seeing the world again, but we, we have to go home right now. And that's why we got the news 24 hours ago and we packed everything up and, and we're on our way home. Booked the first flight we could and we're on our way home. Can you tell them why? I can tell them why. I think it's not my place to say. Yeah, so it is my reason for a lot of my adult life, my mum's been quite sick, quite uh, quite ill. And in the last 18 months, her diagnosis has been one that's terminal. Um, so as travelers, that means you're kind of always on alert for um, when is the right time to come home. And for us, that's now. We were going to go home over Christmas, but things did start to get um, a little worse just before Christmas and we obviously don't know when you never know when you're gonna get the, the call, call from your family to come back at the drop of a hat yeah um, but this was sort of the first call um, yeah if we'd gone in if we'd come home for Christmas we would have spent essentially our emergency budget all of our money <laughs> which might have would have impacted us being able to come back if I got a phone call saying come back now um, but this is also kind of a comeback now as well. Probably my last chance to spend like a good solid month with my mum. This is probably the last chance I'm going to have to spend a month with my mum. So that's why we're coming home. <laughs> and it hits you a little bit more deeply when you are sitting here about to check into the flight to so do that. Home. We'll be home in 12 hours and I can't wait to see my mum but... It's not a... It's not a happy, well it is a happy reunion. We've been gone for 13 months and we miss out both our, we miss all our parents. We're gonna spend a few weeks at home. Michael's gonna spend time with his mum. We are coming back, so don't worry about that. <laughs> We're not done traveling yet. I don't know how much you'll see of my mum though, because. Michael's mum's a very like private off social media person and obviously I don't blame her given everything she's going through. I probably wouldn't want but to be on the internet she either. She doesn't want photos of herself Nothing. because as those of you who know, and, and like they say cancer touches, well I've said the, <laughs> I said that's what it is. They say cancer touches one in three lives in some capacity. So you guys, plenty of people here watching it, 30% of you or more will have gone through something similar with a family member or yourself. And um, when people have gone through chemo and radio and those sorts of things, even though we love them and care about them, they don't feel like they look like themselves and they don't necessarily want to be on film. So I'll, we'll try and share what we can and what mum's comfortable with. But if you see more of Josie's mum, I mean, it's Josie's vlog. My, my mum doesn't even want to be filmed either, but I do it anyway. <laughs> if anyone's going through something similar um, and it brings up anything for you, know that, hey, here's people in the screen that are going through maybe something similar to what you're going through and it, it hurts us and it's hard for us too. So um, all of our, I guess, best wishes with anyone watching who's going through something similar. We're now about to catch the flight with hardly any notice whatsoever. Yeah. Back to Australia. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. We've caught two flights, we seven started, taxis. We started at 7 a.m. in Bangkok and it's 7.45 now PM. at night in Kuala, Kuala Lumpur. Lumpur. But we don't fly out for another three and a half hours and then it's nine and hours. And then it's a nine hour but flight. we land in Sydney, but then I live in Newcastle. So, so it's we a have three to hour trip. A train from Sydney back to, we're gonna, we're gonna get home at, we're, we're gonna get home in about 24 hours from now. Not to take away obviously from what's just happened, but if you follow me on Instagram or anything like that, I've kept my members up to date. I have a very severe back injury at the moment. So it's, 
It's um, everything's happening. Everything's at once. happening at once. It's hurting me to sit down here. It's, it, until today, I couldn't walk. So it's it's been a, a very hard couple of days. So I'm not gonna lie. We just ate at the o and had a coffee or whatever. Sat at the only cafe or anything open in this entire <laughs> airport McDonald's. that wasn't McDonald's. Yeah. And Michael was telling me about how good this airport is and oh, there's heaps to eat, there's heaps to do. Everything's closed. Where are we? KL? KLIA too. I used to travel through this airport maybe four to five times a year. Nothing's Food, open. Anything. Everything's closed. Everything's closed. There's nowhere to sit. They're taking, They're taking all, the all the seats, seats. away. It's, it's woeful. Yeah, it's not great. Now we're just waiting at the gate to go into our gate. It's about 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, I'm just gonna preface this. We are sitting in a like flex plus or like a life flat bed. I didn't buy it, I can't afford it. Michael bought it for me. If you heard me earlier, I'm having really bad back issues at the moment, as in like, I couldn't walk the other day. <laughs> I am on a lot of medication. I'm on a lot of pain medication. I'm on a lot of nerve medication. I'm on a lot of medication to get me through this flight. And Michael gifted me a life flat bed. Um, if he didn't do that, I probably couldn't afford going home at this stage. <laughs> um, this is a raw, real, and honest vlog. Probably not as put together as normal, but yeah, we're going home for a little bit. Let's get on this, let's get on this flight. Thank you. Thanks, please. Hello there. How are you today? Good, how are you? I'm great. Sorry, that was really loud. <laughs> Thank you. Thank yes, you. Have a great day. Alright, so we're just heading on to the plane now for what, a nine hour trip? Yeah. Nine hours. Well, we get to go home. Yeah. Which, even though I don't want to do, I want to do. HK, right? Yeah. HK, yes. Thank you. Yes. So this is the, like, is it like premium flex or something? Flatbed. Fly flatbed. In, or an AirAsia. AirAsia flight D7 to Sydney. We already know it. Sydney. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, I think we'll do it yet. Yeah, no, I don't think so. But we got the front row, so there's heaps of legroom as well. Um, I like it. I'm not a plane reviewer, so don't, <laughs> don't take my word for it. Go watch Nonstop Dan for that, but... <laughs> This is cool. We love Nonstop Dan and Oscar. Yeah, well, yeah, they're the same. More than not. They're not the same. Anyway, we love them both. Um, but this is cool. I'm out of my element trying to give you a plane tour. I might get one in a second after we've settled in a sec. Got given a small water and I think we get one dinner and I think that's it. So yeah, we've got a little tray table here. We have a little hidey hole. We have like a little light behind me as well. I'm assuming for like when it gets dark and I want to read or something like that. There's no video or like screen in front of me or everything. I think that's an AirAsia thing. That's what you pay for, I suppose. I don't know if you get something like an iPad or something with movies. I don't think so. So we've downloaded a whole bunch of them. Um, you've got your controls over this side. Can't use them yet because it's not working. I don't think they make them work until like plane takes off or something. Thank you. The duvet we will give up today. Okay, thank, thank you. Thank you. Uh, by time today, we're looking at uh, 7 hours and 45 minutes and we shall be cruising initially at uh, 25,000 feet. Probably about, I don't know, 1 a.m., 1.30 in the morning for us. So the lights are off and I think it's time to probably go to sleep. When we wake up, we'll be in Australia. Back home for the first time in over 13 months. Let's go to Australia. Good morning. Uh, I think we have about 40 minutes until we land. It is daytime now. I was out like a light the whole time, so I'm still a little bit asleep. I just woke up. Got a good sunset, sunrise, and I can see Australia. Oh, look, Cebu Pacific. Yeah. Just picked up our bags, and now we're gonna head to uh, Michael's house. We were. Hold on. 
So we were originally meant to drive from here in a rental car to my mum's house, see my mum, and then head up two hours drive to where Michael lives. And but we went to book a car yesterday, and it was sixteen hundred dollars, one thousand six hundred dollars to get a car for four hours to drive from Sydney to Newcastle. So we're not doing that. I think now we're just going to catch the train from here to Newcastle, which is two to three hours. Michael's dad's going to pick us up from the train station when we get there. So we just have to go through customs now, make sure everything's all good. We didn't bring anything illegal. <laughs> no, we didn't. <laughs> so the one thing I love about Maccas in Australia or McDonald's is that every Maccas is like a professional barista, like coffee shop, have a thing called McCafe. I know there's some of them in Southeast Asia, but like they're everywhere in pretty much every Maccas here. $14 for two drinks, small <laughs> toasty, and $54. We just spent like 70 bucks, $70. And we got just landed in Australia. <laughs> it's good to be back. <laughs> It feels so weird to be here. Will you go to Newcastle? Yes. From four car, not this one. Oh, not here? No, you're here, yeah, but from four car. I have to go that yeah, way? Yeah, okay, yeah. alright, thank you. Welcome. So as you just saw, I just got kicked off the train. Welcome back. <laughs> Welcome back to Australia. Saucy draw in Australia. It's a delicacy. So we have made it to Newcastle, which is where Michael's from. We're gonna show you a little bit of our hometown coming up. So, and reunite with our families for the first time after traveling for over 13 months. <laughs> so make sure you do subscribe and click the notification bell so you can watch the next ones. And we'll see you there. <laughs>